AccuWeather.com is the world's weather authority. We've been in business for 46 years. We not only create weather forecasts, but we deliver those weather forecasts, uh, whether that delivery be of the internet, the mobile internet, video, and through our commercial weather services. What we wanted to do was um, make something that was really easy to use, that anyone could pick up and know what's going on right away. So what we did was we basically eliminated the whole menu system and just use up, down, left, right through the application. That's all you need, your thumb and the keypad go up, down, left, right, and you can walk through the whole app without having to do anything else. A lot of the other programming languages are so hard to develop in and they take a lot of time and expertise. With the flashlight, uh, we were able to really make a, a nice, I want to say cheerful application that's pleasant to look at and easy to use. Well, the first thing you'll see when you open the application are these nine slots we have available to store any location you want worldwide. I also have this number nine, which is a GPS location. So the application will go out and get your weather for wherever you are right now at this second. See, our first screen here is a, uh, a severe weather risk. So in the next six hours, we have a slight chance of thunderstorms and a slight chance of wind. But other than that, it looks like it's going to be a pretty nice next six hours. Uh, we can tab over here to the weather alarms, and what this does, it totals that precipitation for the next five days. If I tab down, this is your forecast. So here we have a 10-day forecast, and we have two days per screen, and we can tab right to see the rest of the forecast across those 10 days. So here we have our hourly forecast information. It's three hours per screen going out 15 hours. So we, here we have sky condition, temperature, wind direction and speed, as well as precipitation. I tab down once more, and this is where we took our 15-day forecast and put it into a calendar format. So that way when you look at it, um, you get a quick trend of what's actually happening for the next 15 days. As we see we also have uh, overnight forecast. Tab over to the right, and here we have our forecasted temperatures over 15 days, color-coded as well, so that the, like the higher temperatures will pop out a little more. So when you're scanning this, you really get a feel for what the weather's going to do over the next 15 days. Same for low temperatures and as well as wind speeds. Tab down to the next section, and this is our, our graph section. Similar to what we did on the calendar screen, we wanted to illustrate uh, the forecast information in more of a graph format, so you really get a feel for trends over the next 15 days. Same applies to the low temperatures, as well as wind speed and gust. You can see here uh, sustained winds in blue, and then the wind will be gusting uh, with this purple bar here as high as at 28 miles an hour. If I tab down, the next screen is our radar screen or our map screen. And what this will do is load a radar centered on our GPS location. Now if I hit the left soft key, I'll get my menu there on the left, and I can jump to any one of the places I want to go or any one of the content types. What I'm going to do is pop the phone into landscape mode, and the whole application switches on the fly.